Okay, so we've started the free trial. I had to go into another account so I can show you the process. You're going to get so many credits. You can do text to 3D, so text prompts. Type in what you want, it'll generate it. I don't really want that right now. We're going to do image to 3D, and we'll go find our image by clicking here. Go to downloads, we'll find our image. It needs to be as straight on as possible. Now these were done a while back, so they're angled a little bit, but it'll still work. And then portrait of a smiling woman, hard surface. So all I did was click that. And then we'll go, once that moves out of my way, to generate. And that's gonna take a while. So we're gonna let it generate. You can see a lot's going on right now, so I'm gonna pause this. Depends on the time of day. Like if you do this at odd times of the day when most people aren't using it, you can get this done fairly quick. I would say within two or three minutes, it'll generate your image. But right now it looks like it's gonna take a while, so I'm gonna pause the video and we'll come back to it. Then you go over to your image, you click on it. This is gonna be the STL file. You can export it just as XTL, but I'll show you how to keep the texture with it because Meshi will assign the texture. So if you just get the STL, you're not going to bring out the features like the eyebrows, the eyes. That's going to be, you can do that within Meshi, but you see here is the texture map. So we go to download. STL is just the shape you see here. So if I turn off the texture map, I think I can do it. This is what it's going to look like, right? You can't see the teeth. It's pretty smooth on the outside. But if you download it here instead of STL and you do blend, then inside Blender, since that texture map is with it, we can bring out those details. And I think with the advanced service here, you can do some of that inside of Meshi with the AI texturing, but you need the pro service. The free service won't allow you to do, it, do that. So let's go back to image to 3D. We'll click on our image that we want. We'll go download and then blend file. And then that's the one we're going to bring into Blender, and then I'll show you what to do next if you want to replicate it. Okay, let's open up Blender. It's a free software. You can download it and then install it on your computer. Once it opens up, we'll go find that Blender file we just exported from Meshi. Let's go open. Here's the one from today. So open, scroll in with the mouse wheel. You can hold the mouse wheel down and rotate. We need to add a modifier to bring that texture out. So right down here, lower right hand side, click on that wrench. Let's add in a subdivision modifier. So there's subdivision surface, that's what we want. Let's click on that. Oops, closed it out. Now let's add another modifier. And this one's going to be displace. Don't worry about the blob that just formed. Because it's gonna, we're going to modify it here in just a second. That's just part of the process. Let's go new. You see we've got texture here. We're going to scroll down with the mouse wheel so we can get to texture. We're going to go over and select the texture that we want, this image here. here. Let's go back to our modifiers. And where it says local, we'll go to UV. I know it looks kind of crazy. We're going to turn the strength of this down to 0 0.010. So enter. There we go. Now if you scroll in, you can start to see the teeth. So we're going to adjust this a little bit. And let's go up to 2.5 and see what comes out. That looks a little bit better. Let's go up to 0.7 and see what happens there. See if we can start to see some of the features a little bit more. 
that's a little bit better so you can start to see the teeth come out so now we're going to go up here to subdivision so we were at, at displace i'm going to minimize that one we're going to go up to this level here you want to be careful because this can overwhelm your computer so i'm going to go to three here and just hit enter it's going to take a little bit and now we can start to see some of the details come out and so that's what we're doing we're just going to mess with these numbers now for my computer i haven't been able to get much higher than a six here without it crashing and it takes a lot of computing time but you can see we're starting to get definition of the eyes definition of the teeth and between the displace this mid-level is going to make them kind of skinnier so like if I adjust this, let's, I'm just going to take it up to one. You'll notice how thin she gets. So it kind of thins out the model. This is going to get us back to where we were. Once you get to the point where you're happy with the model, you can go ahead and go File, Export, STL. And it'll have all of these features within it. And then you could print it off. So I'm going to continue to kind of mess around with this. I'm going to try to get this to a 6, if not a 7. You can mess with the rendering details if you want. But the levels viewpoint in subdivision and the strength of the displace, once you get everything set up like I showed you, those are the ones that you're going to have to mess with the most to bring out your details. I'm going to try to get mine to a 6, if not a 7, and see if I can get it to save. And if I can, then I'll export it. Six, like I said before, here, and maybe a four here has been the highest I've been able to save it without it crashing. But if you have a computer that can handle a little bit more, you might be able to get more detail out of your model. Just to show you what I'm talking about, I'm going to go to a four here, and it should take a little bit of time for those settings to go in. And then you want to make sure that you're saving early and often on these. So let's rename this one. Um, I'll put video example. And that's it. Once you do that, you can take it out to your 3D printer and print it off and then you can cast it. So you can see some of the detail in the hair came out there are ways to bring out more detail in Meshi before you bring it in, but I don't have the Pro feature. Just to show you, so let me go File, Export, so we can look at the detail there. Process has been the best one. I've tried other models, other 2D to 3D models, and they haven't been as great. This is, I think, the last one that I printed off. Let me bring in the new one. File import. That's our newest one from today. And then you can slice it in here. It's going to be extremely small. You'll have to scale it up. So I'll probably go about 400 on the scale. Actually, I think I went 300 for the casting because I didn't want them too large. And there you can see the detail. If we would have brought this in before, you would have it would have just been the physical shape. You wouldn't have been able to see any texture, any details from the texture would have shown up. Here's something else that you're going to want to do. You notice how that's uneven at the bottom on how it came out of meshy. You want to go ahead and slice it here. You can do this in Blender, but it's more complicated. I find it's way easy to cut the model here. I'll go ahead and do that. Um, bring down where you want that plane to cut through. Uh, we do not want to keep the lower part. Perform cut. And now you'll have a good flat surface. So you won't have to put supports on. Because if you have to put supports, it'll go out to their nose. <laughs> That's it. And then you can print it. Okay, and then once you print those off, you can cast them. You can see this is one that just came out of Lost PLA. You can see the seam where the investment cast broke.
and so some of that aluminum went through it's pretty easy to clean up i can clean that one up and then polish it off here's another example that of one that hasn't been cleaned up yet it had a little bit less detail but you can see the eyes you can see the teeth not perfect and i've still got to clean up some of this right after it came out of the cast now here's one i have cleaned up that had issues you can kind of see where one of the seams came down um, but this one's a little bit better and flat on the bottom it's been kind of cleaned up and polished off i've got some pitting just from trash that got down in there that's part of the venting process when you cast so as I get better with that it should turn out a little bit better but that's it that's all casted in 100% aluminum